Hey everyone, uh, so in my previous video I quickly sketched out a uh, home lab design uh, that I'll be using to try to build out a bit of a home cloud lab. Uh, if you haven't checked out that previous video yet, uh, I suggest having a quick look um, just so you have a rough idea of the design I'll be working with. Uh, so now there's certainly uh, you know, a thousand different ways you could uh, create your own home lab. Um, but just for the simplicity, uh, equipment, and time I have uh, available to me at the moment, this seemed like a good enough design for a quick functional home lab. So I guess I'll label this uh, video as uh, part one, um, then break down uh, some of what I consider to be the major steps in the setup and installation of uh, the home lab. Uh, I just think it would be easier to break down um, all the individual parts, just uh, in case viewers want to know how to you know, just set up one piece, like set up KVM or install Open Nebula 4.0 um, from from the source package um, or something like that. They can uh, just view that uh, specific video and not have to dig through uh, you know an hour long video um, from start to finish. Uh, so for this first video, uh, I'm just going to simply walk through the uh, basic VM creation using VMware Workstation 8. Uh, essentially, we'll be creating three guest VMs. Uh, one of them is going to end up being the Open Nebula server, and uh, the other two uh, we'll use as uh, KVM hypervisors. And in addition to those, I'll um, also be uh, installing the uh, uh, Ubuntu 13.04 server os onto the physical dell uh, power edge servers that will uh, also make up uh, two of the hypervisors for uh, for this lab so uh let's get started um i guess first we'll uh, start with the uh, os download so first uh, i'm just going to simply uh, open up a browser here and go to the uh, buntu.com site um, we're going to uh, grab the server edition here. And yeah, for you know a production type employment, you certainly want to consider the uh, LTS version. Uh, but uh, 1304 uh, just got released uh, not uh, too long ago, a couple weeks ago, I believe. So uh, we're going to try that out. And we just want to save that ISO. So now with our uh, OS uh, downloaded, I'm just going to open up uh, VMware Workstation 8 here. And uh, just going to create a little folder structure for the lab. stick with something like that. So with that folder structure uh, we'll just create a new virtual machine and just a typical install and we're just going to install from the ISO that we just downloaded here. Uh, this shouldn't be uh, new for most people but uh, just walk through all the steps. Set a uh, administrator uh, username and password there. Let's give this a name. Uh, we're just going to start off uh, this one as the Open Nebula server. Should be more than big enough. Give this two CPUs and two gigs of RAM. It's the easy install. Uh, set everything up here for us. Um, I believe this installs uh, the VMware tools and all that as well. So 
So rather than recording this whole install, uh, I think uh, most viewers will probably be very familiar with the install. Um, so I'll just pause it and uh, continue on when everything's complete. Uh, I'm not going to be installing any uh, additional packages, so just the uh, base install uh, should be fine for now. Alright, so the uh, server install completed here. Um, we started and we're basically left with our login prompt, so we're just going to log in with uh, the username and password be uh, set to in the uh, easy install. So I think uh, we'll just quickly check for any updates here. Basically, going to be using this image as sort of our uh, base for uh, the uh, one admin or sort of the Open Nebula uh, server as well as the KBM host. So, I just want to make sure everything's up to date. It looks like there's a uh, new uh, kernel revision since. Uh, the ISO is released. So again, I'm just going to pause quickly here while the uh, downloads complete. Okay, so it looks like the uh, update's complete. I'm just going to install uh, the open SSH server, um, just a common package we'll uh, want in our base image. Just avoid uh, having to use the uh, workstation console all the time. So just going to update the host name. Let's call this one server. One just being open nebula. It'll get picked up at the next uh, reboot. And yeah, so that should serve as our base image. So I'm just going to shut down this uh, VM now. And now that it's powered off, I'm just going to uh, change the network adapter here over to bridge mode, uh, just so it gets its own IP address from my uh, local network. Uh, I'll just pick that up through uh, DHCP. And we're just going to clone this. Do a f uh, full clone. And we'll just name this uh, KVM. 001. This will serve as our uh, hypervisor uh, host. So this cloning operation may take a moment, so uh, I'm just going to uh, pause and uh, come back when it's done. Alright, so it looks like the uh, cloning is just about finished here. There it goes. Close that, and there's our clone VM created from our base image. Just going to drag these into uh, the folders so we can keep things organized. And I think that should do it for this video. So I think part two will do the Open Nebula server install, and part three will be the KVM hypervisor setup. Thanks for watching.